Man, I am so bored. There is nothing to do today. If only I had some fun. And also games. Fun and Games is a video game that was developed by Leland Interactive Media for the Sega Genesis in 1993. There's also an SNES version as well, but it's pretty uncommon and pretty fucking expensive. It's a compilation game that apparently has five separate fun zones and opens the door to a creative and entertaining clubhouse. Well, you don't gotta tell me twice. Sign me right the fuck up. I swear this box art looks like something out of a childhood nightmare, and all these inanimate objects having eyes and limbs freaks me out. Funny how Rareware did the exact same thing and it was charming, but in this situation it's just off-putting and frightening. Alright, so I immediately have no idea what's going on. I haven't had any kind of direction, so all I really know is that I can move the cursor around. These things on the screen start to move around if you hover the hand over them, but the only one that actually has any kind of indication of what it is is this one that says Arcade. Since it's the only option that even remotely gives me an idea of what it might be, let's click on that first. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is a compilation of a few games, or at least that's what it looks like to me. We have Mouse Maze, Space Laser, and Whack-A-Clown. What? Up here it says that a controller is recommended, and if you for some reason feel compelled to click on it, it automatically boots up Mouse Maze. So here we go, I guess. Is, it, is this Pac-Man? This is fucking Pac-Man. You play as a mouse trying to collect, uh... Whatever these are, while avoiding cats who try to attack you, and who also, for whatever reason, spawn out of a doghouse. To be honest, I wouldn't have even known they were cats if it wasn't for the fact that they screech when you kill them. If you can manage to collect a dog bone, then you turn into a Dalmatian for... for some reason, and then you can eat the cats! Uh, okay. If you run into one of these mouse traps, you get frozen in place for a second, which strikes me as odd because I'm not sure if any of you have seen the aftermath of a mouse trap, but it's safe to say that if it was anything like a real one, it'd be fucking lights out. Some of these backgrounds are really not easy on the eyes, and some are borderline seizure inducing. If you get a game over, there are two options restart and resume. So you'd think that you'd click resume and then continue from the stage you left off, right? Wrong. They both just restart the entire game. Why the fuck did they even bother putting two options if they both do the same thing? <sighs> Alright, next game. Oh my god, I immediately have no idea what's going on or why. Shit's just flying around and attacking me and I can't even fucking see anything because my field of vision is only one third of the screen. I can't even see where shit is coming from. How am I supposed to know where? Oh. I guess these arrows here work as kind of a radar to tell you where the enemies are. It took me a while to figure that out because you just kind of jump into the game with shit just firing at your face with no warning. But even with the arrows telling you where the enemy ships are, it's still ridiculously hard to aim and hit anything because the ships zigzag all over the goddamn place and the viewfinder is so small that they disappear just as fast as they pop into the screen. If you actually manage to destroy them all, you fight a boss. And I don't, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Well, all that's left is Wacka Clown, so let's see what this is all about. Whoa! Too fast! Too fast! What's- what's happening? This has got to be the most intense game of whack-a-mole I've ever seen. My- my brain can't even process what's going on. It's borderline impossible to make precise movements with the mushy Genesis D-pad, and you have to make exact inputs or it won't register, which makes the idea of going diagonal an actual nightmare. Most of the time when you press the diagonal direction, it goes up, down, or to the side, and by the time you actually manage to get the cursor to move to where you need it to, the clown fucking disappears. This wouldn't be half as hard if it wasn't for the fact that it auto-snaps back to the center when you release the D-pad. I realize that this is because hitting the center would otherwise be impossible to get in time, but if they slowed down the clowns a little bit, it would kind of circumvent the whole issue! There is absolutely no way that any normal child would have the dexterity to be able to do this. Also, the game promotes seal clubbing. Forget Pokemon and Super Meat Boy, wait till PETA hears about this. In fact, someone tell PETA about this right now. I'm sure they'll be on it immediately. Well, now that we've looked at everything the arcade has to offer, let's see what else fun and games has in store. I mean, I've played the games, but I still haven't managed to locate the fun. I like music, so I guess I'll go ahead and click on what I'm gonna just assume is a jukebox. Wow. This is literally the same as the music creator for Mario Paint. If this actually works correctly, it's probably the most entertaining thing so far, but there's so many options that without a manual or some kind of tutorial, it's hard to really figure out what does what, and I'm not entirely sure how to use it. In fact, all the notes I have on the staff were a complete accident, but hey, at least there's a bunch of pre-composed songs you can listen to. Oh, that's... that's beautiful. Next up, we have this canvas here, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it's safe to assume that it's some kind of art creation tool. It's fucking paint. G guys guys, it's, it's fucking paint. I'll just start this off by drawing a happy little man over here. 
and done. He's so happy that I brought him into the world, that I've given him the gift of life. Kill me. There's also these stamps that you can place on the scene you've drawn. Here I have a bunch of the same army man marching off to do army man stuff. But wouldn't you know it, they remembered they needed to mail a letter. They also forgot that it is also raining and that they needed Caitlyn Jenner placed atop their umbrellas for good luck. This is fucking stupid. All right, let's find out what's in this box of toys. I'm still searching high and low for this fun the game title told me so much about, and if there's one place in the game that's fun, it's gotta be the toy box. Oh, no. This one is an abomination maker. I made a man with boobies. There is no goal. The only thing left is the clothes drawer, and I really can't even begin to take a guess at what might be inside. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I guess in this one, you just make up outfits, and much like the toy box game, there's no goal here. But don't worry, what this whole portion of the game lacks in purpose, it makes up for in verbal encouragement. Wild. Cool. Grab. Grab. Crazy. You. Chillin'. Grody. What? Wild. Well, hey there! Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch some of my other videos, there's a couple right there for you. And if you want to keep up with everything I release, click that subscribe button. Yeah? Yeah, click that subscribe button. Oh no, dude!